did not take up arms against the apartheid government out of some hateful emotion of resentment and anger. I took up arms because of the need to overthrow a tyrannical regime. I was in prison with four life sentences. I might never have been released. Ein Drittel ihres Lebens haben sie hinter Gittern verbracht. Dennis Goldberg und Ahmed Katrada waren zusammen mit Nelson Mandela wegen Sabotage und Umsturzversuchen verurteilt. Katrada, indischer Abstammung, Mandela und fünf weitere schwarze Mitkämpfer wurden auf Robben Island eingesperrt. Dennis Goldberg aber, der einzige Weiße, kam in eine 1000 Kilometer entfernte Haftanstalt. Rassentrennung galt immer, auch im Gefängnis. I'm sorry I wasn't on the island because they separated us because of apartheid. I couldn't be with my main group of comrades. We applied to come here from Pretoria and of course they refused. So this was published uh, all over the world to show that Mandela. Now, as for people here, unfortunately, the only person I rec recognize is myself, and that's me. <laughs> uh, but the first thing was confidence. You had to retain that confidence. You are going to win one day. But and we had that confidence all the time. You walk more easily when you were a prisoner than you do now. <laughs> And we are at the medieval cell. In dieser winzigen Zelle verbrachte Nelson Mandela 18 Jahre. Ahmed Katrada ebenso in einer der Nachbarzellen. Die Gefangenen mussten täglich im Steinbruch schuften. You know, people think that Robin Island was the worst. It wasn't. The white comrades were just a handful. We were, what, 30 of us here, and then we had hundreds and hundreds in the cells there. So there again, you know, one of the things you want in prison is companionship. The more the better. Dennis and them didn't have that. So their position, even from their point of view, was much worse than ours. You see that man, face that man, that is Mr. Ahmed Kaltrada. He was in the same case with Mr. Nelson Mandela. They were charged for the same activities. Interestingly, someone was asking me, where is Mr. Goldberg? I haven't heard about him for some time now. Here I am, good yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, carry on. So, Young people are growing up, and I want to know about the past. Uh, they don't want to know the names. They read Nelson Mandela's autobiography. They read the name Goldberg. They think that's a funny name for a black person. They didn't come black. When they meet me, they say, were there whites in the struggle? Wahlveranstaltung in einem Vorort von Kapstadt. Armensiedlung. Goldberg wohnt besser, aber gleich nebenan. Don't forget the beat. Whites only. 
But I do share the dream of our new society. One of the things I like about the end of apartheid, we're actually freer than we were. And many people in South Africa are much freer. That's good. It's going to take, I think, a generation or two or more to overcome this legacy of terrible poverty. Can you really say you have your full human rights when you can't feed your family? <laughs> there I am, three years old, still wearing shoes with buttons on them because that's what little boys used to wear. My parents were actually free thinkers. I can't tell you when I first saw people being discriminated against because it was a daily experience. It's a question of when you become aware of the discrimination. I can remember as a five-year-old seeing a man, a coloured man, and saying to my parents, oh, poor man, and my mother saying, well, why do you say he's poor? And I said, well, look at him, look at his clothes, and he's ill, and yes, but why is he poor, says my mother. And I say, because he's black. And she says, what else? Until she extracts from me the little five-year-old son. He's not only black, but he's a worker, and an unemployed worker, and workers are poor. Black and poor, especially poor. I was a five-year-old, and I understood this. The project in Alexandra Township, in one of the poorest areas of the country, it was started by two friends of mine, Tony and Hilary Hamburger. So let's go in. Hilary is a remarkable person. She is a psychotherapist, and they've created a project for traumatized children and their parents. I have committed myself to helping fund their project. This is an old factory building, but people have a place to stay. And so you've, you, you've been here for four or five months, and, and is this your, just the one child? Dennis Goldberg schreibt seine Autobiografie gegen das Vergessenwerden und rechnet ab. Er war zweimal verheiratet. Mit Esme, der ersten Frau, hat er zwei Kinder. Beide Frauen sind schon gestorben. Er lebt allein. Er, ein Sohn jüdischer Eltern, wurde in Kapstadt geboren, nur wenige Tage nachdem Adolf Hitler in Europa sein rassistisches Regime errichtet hatte. Seine Nachbarn sind heute Menschen aller Hautfarben. When a white person made love to a black person or a black person to a white person, that was illegal. You went to prison for it. The essential point about apartheid that made it different from acts of racism in other countries and injustices was that the whole system was based on laws that made racism legal. Als Goldberg noch keine 20 ist, ergreifen weiße Nationalisten die Macht. Trennung von Rassen wird Recht, Apartheid wird Verfassung. Das reiche Land ist weißes Land geworden. Dennis und seine Frau Esma haben zwei Kinder, Tochter Hilly und Sohn David. Sie leben nach ihren eigenen Idealen und Vorstellungen, antirassistisch und gegen die Gesetze der Regierung. had a wonderful relationship of family, children, political activity. She was already active when I met her, drew me into activity, which I wanted to be involved in. Dennis und seine Frau Esme finden eine Heimat in der Jugendbewegung für ein rassengleiches und sozialistisches Südafrika. Paolo Jordan ist Kulturminister. 
und Jugendfreund aus der Youth Society. Well, Dennis was an engineer. He was a nice guy, I think. Thanks. And uh, he was the sort of person who could get people to do a job of work when he needed it done. So what I remember is parties. What a handsome young man you were. You weren't that old then yourself. Oh, that's what I mean. Yes, But it was nice having fun as well. Of course, we had fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun as well. As I remember it, how the organization went about was to first get people physically fit, train them in combat without exposing it. Yeah. We were going to have a mountaineering club and all those sorts of things. Right? And then uh, I think the, the, the last meeting I attended, uh, it must have been teaching us how to sabotage a car engine, that the easiest and safest way is to take a potato or a sweet potato and stuff it in the exhaust, uh, which means you can't start the car, and that's the last place a driver will usually look. <laughs> and by the time he figures that out, whatever you are doing, right, yeah. oh, you're long gone. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, even that was fun, although it was deadly serious. Der Widerstand der schwarzen Menschen in Südafrika wächst. 1960 protestieren 20.000 friedlich gegen neue rassistische Passgesetze. 70 von ihnen werden erschossen. Dem Massaker folgen Unruhen und Streiks. Der 50 Jahre alte und gewaltfreie ANC, der Afrikanische Nationalkongress, wird verboten und der junge, weiße Bauingenieur Dennis Goldberg sucht nach Widerstand gegen die Willkür der Rassisten. Die Führung des ANC gründet einen militärischen Arm der Organisation und geht in den Untergrund. Goldberg ist natürlich dabei. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks. On an unarmed and defenseless people. I was approached in Cape Town. Dennis, we have a regional command of Mkonto West Seas, where the spear of the nation. You are a trained engineer. We need your skills. I remember I was asked to think about it, and I said yes, of course I'm in. I was only too happy to join. I believed in revolution. I believed in revolutionary overthrow of this apartheid regime. Nur eine Autostunde von Kapstadt entfernt, versteckt im buschigen Hügelland, werden erste Trainingscamps gegründet. Goldberg, der Weiße, ist Anführer einer Schar von 30 schwarzen jungen Männern und will sie in Sabotage unterweisen. Die Veteranen erinnern sich mit Spaß. Comrade Willie und Comrade Sandy gehörten zu seiner Mannschaft von angehenden Partisanen. Left, 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 right, left, right. But he, he made it into such an African thing. And he had us marching like a military in a day. And then off we went home in the truck. And the comrades, this was supposed to be a secret camp, you see. The comrades were singing this Amma Johnny song Just and beating up the rhythm. Um se benzi, Amma Johnny, Amma Johnny, Mkolo, Amma Johnny, Amma Johnny, Um se benzi, We reckoned we would train ourselves, and when we had weapons, we would have to perhaps find a, a, a cop who would change sides or something like that. But you know, if you've got to, we made our own weapons. We made our own ways of destroying telephone lines. We just threw a rope over them. You remember? Yeah, I do. It wiped out the communications.
Mit der Sprengung von Hochspannungsleitungen und Anschlägen auf öffentliche Einrichtungen will auch Goldberg dem waffenstarrenden Regime schmerzhafte Wunden zufügen. Er selbst war nie Soldat gewesen. Er ist kaum 30 Jahre alt und unterrichtet Sabotage. Aber schon nach wenigen Monaten hebt die Polizei das Terroristencamp aus. Where did you get your military training? In Algiers. Really? Yes. That's even where, where, where I met uh, uh, Chagovaro. You met Chagovaro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that story yeah, yet. No, that's where we met Chagovaro. And what Chagovaro was he like? gave us a courage, a revolutionary courage, that we must not think we are the only ones. Revolution is man for man. Let's we go and we must go and liberate our people. <laughs> Ausbildung und Training verlegt der ANC in die Nachbarländer Südafrikas. Die Länder Osteuropas helfen, aber Deutschland West findet sich unter Dennis aktivsten Feinden wieder. We were trained uh, by the former German Democratic Republic. I went for the uh, military related courses. Well, the The German Democratic Republic supported the struggle against the apartheid and the Federal Republic of Germany either directly supported the apartheid regime or did it indirectly. Franz Josef Strauss, who was a very keen supporter of the apartheid regime. Yeah. I never forget that's where Hitler began. It was a Bavarian too. The apartheid made white South Africa and businesses extremely rich very quickly because what it did was to intensify the control over black workers and the issue of apartheid is played out as race and color but there's a very simple proposition they teach in every business school cheap labor makes fat profits and that's what apartheid is about they're quite prepared to do business and let somebody else do the political dirty work. Westdeutsche Politiker und Banken hatten das Regime am Leben gehalten und dessen Waffenkammern prall gefüllt. Die Apartheid Regime Sie hat uns als Terroristen genannt natürlich und überall im Welt war die Kampf gegen Terrorismus dessen Zeit gewesen und hat die Apartheid-Regime von den weißen Südafrikanern ihre Unterstützung von Westregierung bekommen, weil sie müssen gegen Terrorismus kämpfen. Aber eigentlich war es ein Fürst, dass ihre Invest Investment in Südafrika, in Gutminen, in Diamantminen, in Industrie und Handel alles verlieren sollen mit dem Aufstand von den Schwarzen. Die Sicherheitspolizei war hinter mich an. Da habe ich Untergrund getaucht und nach unser Hauptquartier gekommen, hier bei Lilly's Leaf. Hier war ich gefragt, um zu helfen mit dem Aufbau von unserer Untergrundarmee. Sollte ich als Bauingenieur, Wissenschaftler mit der Waffenlieferung beschäftigt zu sein. Da bin ich mit meiner Vollbart. 
und ein Hut, meine Sterne, meine intellektuelle Sterne zu verstecken. Und hier haben wir auch die Hauptkommandeur von unserer untergrunden Armee, ihre Treffen gehabt. Ja, natürlich ist die äh, Zimmer leer, ist es saniert, kommt die alte Möbel wieder rein, hat Winnie Mandela hier mitgeschlafen und besucht im Wochenende. Es ist nicht so schön, aber für Tarnung müssen sie authentisch leben. Und haben sie äh, Gemüse gepflanzt und geerntet. Es war ein Farm gewesen. Hier haben wir Gänse und äh, Hühner und äh, Hunde gehabt. Ich komme jetzt zu, zum Kohlenbunker und war die Dokumente von Nelson Mandela, seine Tagebücher, und unter die Kohlen versteckt. Dennis hat seine Familie verlassen und lebt im Untergrund. Er ist unmittelbar Nelson Mandela unterstellt und gilt als Bombenexperte des militärischen Flügels des ANC. I was the weapons maker in the underground army. I have not got to the stage where I entered into mass production. I was supposed to. Um, I think we got caught too early for me to actually begin. Perhaps it was lucky because had we started making the quarter of a million hand grenades I was supposed to make and the 48,000 landmines and the spring stover that were needed. I don't think we would have got life sentences. We would have got death sentences. Um, yes, we did have actions. Yes, uh, people were killed. I don't think we were very willing soldiers. We really were not. How did you feel? When were you planning with blacks? I guess a white guy's men. Who is you also white? I didn't look at as white against white or black on black. <laughs> What I looked at was, how do we bring about justice in South Africa? If you had the chance to do it all over again, would you? If I had the chance to do it all over again, would I? Absolutely. I have no regrets at all, except that I made a mistake. I got caught. <laughs> nearly 20 men and one woman, amongst them what they considered were the leaders of the uh, saboteurs. The Tag von the Razzia kommt dann die Polizei durch diese Patio Türe rein. Uh, es war richtig ein Schock gewesen. Uh, wir müssen es immer erwarten, aber auf diesem Moment fühlte man in die Beinen sind verlähmt. Ich habe es Notizen in Taschen gehabt und musste ich diese in Klo wegfließen lassen. Habe ich hier gerannt, komme ich hier mit meinem Notizenbuch in Hand und da stehen Polizei vor mir. Ich konnte ich nicht da reinkommen und haben sie diese Notizen gefunden, wo ich Gusseisen Handgranaten machen lassen worden war ich richtig mit die Zeuge im Taschen. Geschnappt. Wer die Haupteingeklagte war nicht insbesondere geschlagen in die Aussagungszeiten, äh, aber viele von unseren Genossen, die Zeuge gegen uns, war geschlagen und gefoltert in vieler Weise. Aber die Druck, die Hasse, die Gefühl, dass sie uns mörden wollen, war sehr stark gewesen. Wenn man vor einem Polizeikapitän sitzt, wenn er seine Frage stellt und er spielt mit einem Revolver, mit seinen Fingern auf die Laufe und so druckt und druckt und druckt, ähm, schwitzt man. 
The accused are Nelson Rolinschlala Mandela, Walter Max Ulliot Sisulu, Dennis Theodore Goldberg, Govan Archibald Mbeke, Ahmed Mohammed Kathrada. They are charged on two counts of sabotage, one of contravening the Suppression of Communism Act and one of contravening the General Law Amendment Act. Struggles for freedom uh, cost a lot of happiness, you know, a lot of stress and a lot of pain. My wife and daughter were sitting up with friends the night before, waiting for the judge to decide whether he was going to hang us or give us some other sentence. I wish children didn't have to go through things like that. Uh, a lot of children and a lot of wives carried the burden and the pain of a struggle for freedom. We had so many months to prepare for the death sentence. So many months to acclimatize to the fact that there is no alternative. You, you are going to die. Okay. The night before was a sleepless night. And the judge in passing the sentence was so soft, I couldn't hear what he had said. The crime of which the accused have been convicted of the crime of conspiracy is in essence one of high treason. People who organize a revolution usually plan to take over the government, but consistent with my duty, the sentence in the case of all the accused will be one of life imprisonment. Dennis shouted to the uh, uh, mother. spectators, life, that's what I found out. So Kathy was lucky, he only had one life sentence. <laughs> The rest of us had four life, life sentences, sentences. <laughs> but I got a discount, I served only one. I mean, what a relief to be sentenced to life imprisonment. It was, you know, we smiled and then we laughed, we laughed, laughed. <laughs> Fast 50 Jahre später. Eine Lesereise bringt Goldberg nach Deutschland. Seit 25 Jahren hat er kein Gefängnis mehr betreten. Ach, Scheiße. Die Gefühl, dass sie eingesperrt sein werden, kommt immer wieder zurück. Nach all diesen Jahren bin ich 24 Jahre von dem Gefängnis frei, kriege ich noch Albträume, wenn ich da überschreiben oder sprechen. Aber man muss es machen. 22 Jahre im Gefängnis hat meine ganzen Leben und Gedanken beeinflusst. Ich war 22 Jahre in Südafrika. Gefängnis gewesen. Lebenslänglich, vielmal, aber nur einmal gedient, ja, vorgezogen. Das ist ein schlimmer Gefühl. Es war mit unseren zwei Kindern. Ich war bereits in prison by then, und uh, das war kurz bevor they were going to go into exile in England. The authorities only allowed one letter in six months for the first two years. In the 22 years, I had two visas allowing me back. And that's in 67 and in 71 and I didn't see him thereafter. I applied every month for a visa, and I never got one. The D 
Dennis's wife was not allowed to visit him. So I said, of course I will go and visit him. And that started uh, um, visits that lasted for the next 14 years. And I knew her for a total of about two days in the count up the hours. Prison is a very lonely place. And here was this very beautiful young woman, very intelligent, visiting me often, and enabling me to speak about family, about children, about loving, if you like. Um, and gradually, let me, let me tell you truthfully, I would make a joke. I always make jokes. And she would laugh. And I would realize I'm not crazy. Dennis mag gern Publikum, ist Zeuge und Mahner gegen Rassismus. Gewöhnliche Gefangene haben Fragen nach Rezepten, wie man so lange durchhalten kann, an einen, der es nach 22 Jahren Knast doch wissen muss. Und der politische, der Idealist, will ihnen Mut machen. Und hier sitze ich wieder in Freiheit in ein Gefängnis. Und ich müsste sagen, es ist für nicht leicht, in ein Gefängnis einzukommen. Die Klack-Klack von dieser riesigen Schlüssel in die Türen bleibt immer im Kopf. Ja, gibt es noch eine Frage? I have more respect to the minority whites who serve as a prisoner of political prisoner then than my own blood color. Because You people suffer to punishment, being, uh, as German call it, farita, to the white race. But the main question is, at the end of the day, the, the aim and the objective of fighting the government, to me, is not achieved, because the apartheid is still die Rassismus bleibt, die Apartheid bleibt. Ist das richtig, was... Das ist korrekt. Aber muss ich sagen, die ältere Weißen konnte es nicht fassen, dass sie ihre Privilegien teilen müssen. Sie glauben bis jetzt fest, weiß zu sein bedeutet besser zu sein. Es gibt solche hässliche Vorurteile und Gedanken in Deutschland über schwarze Afrika, schwarze Menschen. Es ist mir wichtig, dass ich meine Erfahrung in den Kampf gegen Rassismus, Diskriminierung zu jüngeren Leuten und Erwachsenen auch überbringen muss. Das geht über zivile Courage auch und das braucht man in jedem Land. Daheim in Südafrika lebt Dennis zwischen Gegenwart und Erinnerung. Goldberg freut sich über ein Wiedersehen mit alten Kameraden. Jeremy Cronin gehörte zur zweiten Generation weißer Befreiungskämpfer. Kürzlich ist er stellvertretender Minister geworden. None of us were ashamed to be in prison. That, that oh, was very absolutely. important, you know. I mean, we were ashamed that we got caught, because <laughs> that hadn't been the intention. But yeah. um, you know, we're proud to. I remember uh, very clearly when we met. Mm. It was uh, September 1976. So I had been sentenced shortly before then mm -hmm. uh, to seven years imprisonment, and uh, came to Pretoria Maximum Security in September 1976. And you asked me how long had I got. <laughs> And I said, seven years, and you said, that's a parking ticket. You did, you said, it was a parking ticket. You, you won't be here long enough to wash the dishes uh, oh, properly. Uh, no, no. What arrogance. That eh? wasn't arrogant. It was, it was, uh, it was 
it was a, a, a well-taken point, which is that uh, some of you have been in there already longer than seven years. Mm. Yeah. There was a hanging every week. And then we would hear, literally, the people shuffling down in leg arms <coughs> down past our section, and then this hollow sound, a bit like uh, cinema seats flapping back, that doof, doof, yeah. doof sound. And, of the uh, trap doors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'd know another th two, three people had been hanged. So at that, at that stage, South Africa was, was one of the major... Uh, 150 hangings a year on average. Yes, it, I think at this stage it had gone up to close to 300, mm -hmm. 300 in a year. Yeah. So anyway, this, this is one poem about that, that situation. It says, Overhead is mesh, to one side is the morgue, to one side the gallows wing. This is our yard. <laughs> Prison is the loneliest time of my life. It's like an emotional desert, really. I was in prison with four life sentences. I might never have been released. You were so, so sad. Oh. And there I thought I was so strong. And I remember once Dennis saying to me after many years, he said, you know, I've said um, goodbye to, I think it was my 47th friend who's left prison. But saying goodbye to people was not easy. Not easy. In den 80er Jahren gerät das Apartheid-Regime unter Druck. Der Widerstand im Land wächst und die Polizei ist kaum noch Herr der Lage. Wirtschaftsboykott und militärische Konflikte in Nachbarländern bringen Südafrika an den Rand des Bankrotts. I am prepared to release Mr. Mandela if he would say that he rejects violence as a means to reach and to achieve political ends. My father says I cannot and will not give any undertaking at a time when I and you, the people, are not free. Your freedom and mine cannot be separated. I will return. Amanda! Agreeing not to be involved in armed struggle, for me, was not a repudiation of having been in the armed struggle. I did not have to apologize. I did not have to say it was wrong. I was 52 years old, and I think soldiering is for young people, not old people. Mandela and all the other prominent lehnen up. Nur einer, Dennis Goldberg, nimmt das Angebot an. I was released from prison on the 28th of February, 1985. The date is fixed in my memory. I was taken in the prison commander's car to the airport in Johannesburg. We were followed and led by a security police car. That's me the day I came out of prison. Wasn't I young and handsome? And that's with Hilary Hamburger. I must say it was lovely to sit in the back of a car and hold hands and to smell perfume uh, the first time in 22 years. That was amazing. And then I was put on board the plane, the very last passenger. Dennis wird nach Israel ausgeflogen. Ausgerechnet in ein Land, das offen gute Beziehungen zur Apartheid-Regierung pflegt. Die Reaktion seiner Kameraden auf Robben Island wird ihm die Freude über die Freiheit verderben. Ich got a headache. And as she rushed past this Israeli stewardess, gave me some crumpled up tablets in some pink paper, Aspro, and I needed water, and I said, please, can I have some water? 
and the Israelis speak English with a very harsh language. She said, come, and took me off to get water. And then she says, why have you got a headache? Are you sick? And she was so insistent, I explained that I wasn't used to crowds of people. 300 people in a plane all talking. I'd also had a cognac the first time in many years. I had such a headache. And as she's giving me the water, she said, why aren't you used to crowds? And I said, well, I've just come out of prison. How long for? And I said, 22 years. Her face froze. And I could see her thinking, 22 years in prison, rape, murder, rape and murder, something like that, you know? After a time, she sort of dropped one shoulder, looked over it and said, why were you in prison? And I said, for conspiracy to overthrow the apartheid government. And she really threw down the lemon, threw down the knife, turned around and said, welcome aboard our aircraft. Goldbergs Alleingang wird zum Gegenstand hitziger Debatten innerhalb der Befreiungsbewegung. Hello Jordan gehört zu den Kritikern Goldbergs. In Dennis's case, what complicated it, I think, when you were released, they released you to Israel. I went to visit my daughter in Israel. Oh, you went to visit her? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Directly from prison. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe it was also like the Puerto regime nursing the relationship with Israel. Yes. Right? That, oh, yeah, well, nice Yiddish boy. We send him to you. And you see, this is how we, we're not as bad as you think. <laughs> we might have supported Hitler, but, you know, uh, <laughs> and there was discussion about, you know, about that the circumstances of Dennis' release. When uh, you were released, it was uh, following your agree agreement to sign a certain yes. document, which you first refused to sign. Yes. And which Nelson Mandela was offered to sign and refused, refused. as well. Correct. What made you change your mind? I just didn't feel able to go on any longer. I was tired. I wanted to be out of prison. I felt I needed to leave. I hope my comrades will understand. It's not because I've deserted them or changed my mind. The white comrades were treated as traitors. We were not. So generally they were treated much worse than we were. And when Dennis uh, spoke, uh, I mean rather accepted this, we could understand. So among us here, there was absolutely no uh, doubt about it, there was no criticism or anything, we understood. Well, was accepting the release a sin, or should one stay in prison till one dies? Yeah. That's the only pure way. Mm -hmm. And if a sin has been committed, do we fight sin or do we fight the sinner? In the end, people said no. All things considered, Comrade Dennis Goldberg is a part of the movement and we take him back. There was no way that I could possibly stay in Israel and appear to give support to the Zionist state of Israel in this alliance with apartheid. Goldberg geht nach England, zur Familie. Seine Enkelkinder sind jetzt so alt, wie seine Kinder waren, als er damals ins Gefängnis kam. My son asked me why I had done what I did, to be away from them for so long. In other words, why did I desert them? I wasn't there for him and his sister. And I said to him that I did not know how to elevate my children above millions of children in South Africa who suffered under apartheid. And there was my 28-year-old son crying like a six-year-old. 
because he needed to hear from me that I loved him. Dennis und die Kinder. Er wünscht sich, dass alle satt werden und alle sollen Schulen besuchen. Er wünscht sich, dass die Kinder würdige Arbeit finden. Goldberg glaubt noch heute, die Verletzungen der brutalen Rassengesellschaft zu spüren. Und überall sammelt Dennis für das Projekt mit traumatisierten Kindern in den Slums von Johannesburg. Does anyone else want to say anything about children hitting? Yes. When, when she grabs me, I tell my mommy and I feel sad. I've spent my life trying to bring about change in South Africa from apartheid. My work was in West Germany, building solidarity amongst people who would oppose their government support for apartheid. That was my job. In Münchens Eine Welthaus trifft Dennis Unterstützer aus der Anti-Apartheid-Bewegung. Goldberg warb in den 80ern von London aus als Sprecher des ANC in aller Welt und suchte mit Boykottaktionen gegen Importe aus Südafrika, das Regime zu schwächen. Das war die Geist, was Südafrika kaputt gemacht hat. <lacht> Every time you buy a Cape apple, you are buying a bullet to kill our people. Die Anti-Apartheid-Bewegung, nicht nur in Deutschland, aber weltweit, war vielleicht die meist erfolgreiche internationale Solidaritätsbewegung in ganzen Geschichte gewesen. West Germany and its companies were solidly supporting apartheid, financially, with information, diplomatically. MIN made diesel engines in South Africa for South African tanks and armored vehicles to kill our people. Uh, Mercedes made the Unimog, which was used by the military, to transport soldiers and kill people. There was the collaboration with Siemens and one of their subsidiary companies in building nuclear weapons. Apartheid South Africa had nuclear weapons. Während die meisten Staaten, darunter auch Großbritannien und die USA, das Apartheid-Regime unter Druck setzen, pflegen westdeutsche Politiker weiter beste Beziehungen zu den Rassisten. Es wird noch vier Jahre dauern, bis auf Robben Island Ahmed Katrada und Nelson Mandela freikommen. And on the day of Nelson Mandela's release, I was sitting in the ITN studio in London, commenting on the television feed. There's Mr. Mandela, Mr. Nelson Mandela, a free man, taking his first steps into a new South Africa. The day we were sentenced in 1964, The head of prison security said we would never walk out of prison on our own two feet. They would carry us out in a coffin, feet first, dead. And there was Nelson Mandela consciously getting out of the car to walk out of the prison. And this for me was such a moment of triumph. <laughs> Es wird auch noch Jahre dauern, bis Goldberg nach dem Tod seiner Frau heimkehrt in das befreite Südafrika seiner Mitkämpfer vom ANC. Neben treuen Parteigängern gibt es aber auch nach der Befreiung noch Unzufriedene. Doch Dennis verteidigt die ANC-Regierung. Sie habe trotz allem viel erreicht, Millionen Wohnungen gebaut und Krankenhäuser für alle. Aber Arbeitslosigkeit und Hunger treiben viele Südafrikaner in die Hoffnungslosigkeit. Gewalt hat sich breit gemacht. Wir dachten, es wäre für das Beste, dass wenn die schwarze Regierung sich übernimmt, dann jeder Mensch hat Freiheit der Bewegung. Aber es ist nicht Freiheit der Bewegung mehr, weil man hohe Fenster setzen muss, man muss hohe Gäste setzen, man muss elektrische Wäsche setzen, 
you got to have a beam system, alarm system in your house that, you know, if somebody comes at night, you're not safe in your own house today. The apartheid was bad, but now it's very bad. The new president, Zuma, he says, we'll just have to carry on till God come back. That's what he said. That's his statement. You know, and the statement is so foolish that what it does to you, it doesn't give you any hope at all to say, let's work together, let's build up this country. No. I've told my kids already that we will move to Australia. Oh, there was no doubt that there were many who actively supported apartheid. They would not oppose apartheid at that time. But after a very few years, they made Nelson Mandela into Saint Nelson, Saint Madiba. And I find it very hurtful as a South African. I think that the non-racial South Africa that was built, it had also something to do with outstanding figures, white comrades who been sentenced together with others in Ravonia. That for me was the great contribution that Dennis in particular made. It became a symbol of, of, of a non-racialism. It's not easy to be a symbol sometimes when you're sitting <laughs> with several life sentences. The Order of Lutuli in Silver awarded to Dennis Theodore Goldberg for his commitment to the struggle against apartheid and service to the people of South Africa. When I was given this Lutuli Award, there were many comrades who said, and about time it should have been given to you long ago. There's a sense that white activists are ignored. And why is that if we're non-racist in our approach? But there's been this tremendous oppression of black South Africans. And I think that comrades who say that people like Jeremy and Dennis and others were the premium paid by white South Africans to have the right to live here have got it just about right. We paid the price, willingly. Oh, my Absolutely willing. Thank you. you see, you get old enough, all the little girls come to you. <laughs> by good, by good. <laughs> and the young men as well, come to me. Come to me, come. <laughs> I have survived. Um, with honour. And I have been honoured. And that's tremendous. I don't think you can ask for more than that. Africa, Malupagani, so Pondoloyo, Iswaimitandazo, yet to.